Hi, welcome to our channel Talks on Management and Research. In today's session, we are going to cover an important topic in research called types of variables. Now, we are going to discuss about five different types of variables which is predominantly used in our research. Independent variable, dependent variable, mediating variable, moderating variable and extraneous variable. Let us discuss these variables one by one. Now, if suppose, if I take a scenario where you are designing a questionnaire where you have asked the respondent two important things like their salary and their job satisfaction. Now, just think about which could be an independent variable and which could be the dependent variable. Yes, obviously, you all will say that salary is of course an independent variable and job satisfaction is the dependent variable. Why is that so? Because it is purely based on your logic, common sense, experience and your previous literature review. So, the point to be noted when you are choosing which is an independent variable and which is a dependent variable is actually mainly dependent on the researcher, not dependent on the tool that you have been using. You might use any fancy tools like SPSS, AMOS, Smart PLS or as simple like Excel. But it all comes at the later stage. It is you who as the researcher who is going to decide which is going to be the independent variable, which is going to be the dependent variable. Right. So in this scenario, we can easily categorize salary as an independent variable and job satisfaction as the dependent variable. The reason being salary is the one which affects job satisfaction. That means higher the salary, higher is the job satisfaction, lower the salary, lower is the job satisfaction. I can also define uh, this independent variable and dependent variable through this association. What is a dependent variable? Dependent variable is a kind of variable which is being affected by n number of other variables. It could be an independent variable, mediating variable or moderating variable. When it comes to the independent variable, it is that variable which affects the job satisfaction, that affects the dependent variable. So with this understanding, let us get into the another topic of our discussion. Let's say that if I'm asking you a simple question, what makes you think that there is a relationship between salary and job satisfaction? You can come up with your own answers, but one of the most important reason could be on the lifestyle. Let's suppose that if I'm earning 50,000 rupees in India, I might be happy with my salary. But the same 50,000 rupees if I'm earning in Middle East or in US, do you think so? I might be happy with the job? May not be true. The reason being, the mere salary alone doesn't decide the job satisfaction. It is the salary which is linked with the better lifestyle is a reason for the job satisfaction. Because if the cost of living is higher in other countries, in Middle East or in US or any other European countries, so naturally I may require a higher salary than what I'm drawing in the country. So now the reason for the relationship between salary and job satisfaction is the better lifestyle. And this better lifestyle is what we call it as mediating variable. So now how do I define a mediating variable? A mediating variable is a kind of variable which decides the reason for the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable. We can also take one more example. Let's say that, what if I say that I give you two variables like grades and happiness. Yeah. You all will say that grades could be considered as an independent variable and happiness could be considered as a dependent variable. Now, what could be the mediating variable in this case? Probably, I can take esteem, the student's esteem. Now, you can see that the students have got higher grades. They might be having higher self-esteem. Because of that reason, they are much happier than the other students. So, in this scenario, self-esteem could be considered as the mediating variable. So, like this, Though you might have categorized independent variable and dependent variable for your research, you can take a diary, think for a while 
and jot it down which could be a possible mediating variable for your research and what is mediating variable that i have told you just now that the one which mediates the one which gives the reason for the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable so if you are having a questionnaire just start putting what is the independent variable what is the dependent variable what could be the mediating variable so that it might be useful for your analysis now another type of variable which we are going to today's session is moderating variable what is meant by moderating variable let's say that the same example about salary and job satisfaction you would come across some of the uh, maybe um, experienced people telling that who don't purely believe on salary affecting the job satisfaction they say that the job the company where they have been working for 10 years 20 years they do have a very loyal towards the organization the reason being they are considered as a second home so i would say that the salary and job satisfaction this relationship holds to mainly for a fresher or mainly for someone who is at the middle level it may not be applicable for who are someone who is at the top level or someone who is having a higher tenure in the organization so this is what we call it as moderating variable so what is moderating variable it is that variable which affects the strength of the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable in this case independent variable is salary and dependent variable is job satisfaction though there is a strong association between salary and job satisfaction there is a third variable called moderating variable which affects the strength that means it either weakens the strength of the relationship or it might increase the strength of the relationship so this is what we call it as moderating variable you can think your own example you can think what could be the possible moderating variable in your case let's say let me take another example let's say that i'm going to gym regularly to gain the muscle mass now what could be the independent variable here going to gym could be an independent variable and what could be the dependent variable gaining muscle mass could be the dependent variable now what could be the possible uh, moderating variable we don't know let us think about it let's say that is this relationship holds true across all ages may not be true because i can't expect that a 80 year old man going to gym regularly trying to get a muscle mass that means the going to gym might not be effective for a very old man how it is effective for a youngster so age could be a moderating variable so like this you can jot it down several moderating variables for your study and try using different type of analysis you can use different type of software for us you can use amos smart plls or maybe you can use as simple like spss and you can use a technique called regression that we'll discuss it in another session and if you are quite smart enough there is a process macro in spss which you can download it so easily which can be added as an add in your existing spss now the third type of variable we are going to discuss is extraneous variable what is extraneous variable make it very simple extraneous variable is nothing but a noise purely a noise that means it does not affects either the strength of the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable nor it is the reason for the relationship between independent and dependent variable it is just purely a noise say for example in this example that i have mentioned where salary and job satisfaction are related with each other in terms of independent variable and dependent variable i do consider number of employees as the dependent variable i can't say that just because number of employees are more or number of employees are less it's going to affects the relationship between independent variable and dependent variable so now this is what we call it as extraneous variable or i can also call it as foreign variable or i can consider it as these are like these are like noise so now you as a researcher you have to control the noise so that you can find out the effect of one variable on the another variable hope you would find this lecture very useful thank you